Lieutenant Governor Josh Green is feeling a bit worse after he tested positive for COVID five days ago. He joins us now with an update and his thoughts on where Hawaii stands now and where it's heading. Good morning to you, Lieutenant Governor. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So how are you feeling now? I know yesterday you said you felt a little worse and got the sweats. Yeah, I, um, I'm feeling okay. I don't want people to worry too much. I, I'm... Uh, you know, I have some fevers and sweats and uh, aches, but I'm breathing just fine, and people are taking really good care of me. I've got far more vitamins than I should be even uh, thinking about taking, which was very nice of my friend Toby to bring over, and everyone's worried about me, but I'm doing okay. This is what happens uh, with this virus. It kind of ebbs and flows a little bit, and you have to stay hydrated and rest, and so I'm going to work from home for a couple days, and then I'll be back in the saddle to to torture Governor Ige in person. Any update in terms of any positive cases or more testing done um, in terms of who was around you on Friday or in the days before? I know, thankfully, family members tested negative. Yeah, the, uh, the, the team that I was around, uh, my two security guards, as you know, tested positive, and that's kind of how, uh, how I caught it. Then my entire team otherwise, all of them, tested negative, even my inner circle who I do all of the policy work with, and we were wearing masks, so that was good. Everyone I saw in Kohala, everybody, period, all of them, including the patients, although I probably didn't catch COVID until Saturday morning and wasn't infectious probably till Wednesday is what we think. So that was always a foregone conclusion. I wouldn't you know, spread it to anybody. And again, we did a pretty good job wearing masks. Uh, then the last thing was we had this small group of friends where I went and did some um, some work with at the radio station. We were talking ironically about doing tests, the surge testing, and so uh, we were together for about an hour for, with me and two of them, and then 15 minutes with three of the others. So they're getting tested too, but everyone's tested negative, and this is one of the important lessons. If you wear a mask, it's very difficult to spread the virus. The way we caught it was. I was in a car for an hour and five or hour and 10 minutes in real close proximity because we were in a car together. And even though we had masks on, one individual was sick. Uh, most important thing to me of all was my family tested negative. So I'm isolating in my nine-year-old's room. Now, the governor says that October 1st date to start the pre-testing travel program probably will not happen. Do you think a delay is necessary? Well, um, I'll tell you what. In a few hours, we'll make the announcement, and uh, I think it will, you know, it will please people that we have a firm date, and I'm working from home on that all morning right now, so we're going to make some serious announcements today in the afternoon, is my understanding. The, the need to open the economy is very real. The need to get people back to work so that they get their health insurance, so that they can take care of their loved ones, absolutely critical. So... As you know, I've been tasked to get the plan together to do a pretest. It is ready and, and uh, well prepared. We will have very little risk as people begin to slowly trickle back into Hawaii. But sooner or later, we're going to have to start. So you'll hear the date today. Uh, forgive me for not mouthing off about it right now. I may have COVID, but I still think they'd be mad if I uh, blew the punchline for the press conference. But you are saying there will be an official delay. Uh, I'm saying that the Gov will announce the date uh, this afternoon. You and it's. Uh, it's pretty soon. The, the key is that there does need to be preparation. And as everyone knows, October is a slow month. But I, I think people will be more or less pleased with what we announced today. And overall, it's necessary because people are just hurting too badly. It's one thing to have COVID when you're young and we're getting through it. It's another thing to watch people suffer and struggle without having the ability to take care of their children or go to school. So the time has come. All right, we do have to take a break, Lieutenant Governor, but I know that you'll join us a little bit later to answer some viewer questions. Thank you so much for joining us now, and please take yeah. care of yourself. Let's go ahead and send things over to Chris.